Nikki's training has been delayed while Brandon awaits the results of her blood test for tick-borne diseases. The extra time has given Brandon a chance to help Nikki overcome her trust issues. You're safe here, relax. You're much safer here than you were out there. But now, every hour that passes is one that's not being spent preparing her for a new family. Hey, Dr. Nardi. Hi, Brandon. I wanted to give you a call because I got Nikki's uh, blood work results back. But it's good news. The test result came back negative for all of the tick-borne diseases that we tested for. Awesome. I do want you to finish the antibiotics since we already started them, and antibiotics need to be finished to completion. Where does that leave me with training? She can definitely start training. Perfect. Thanks, Dr. Nardi. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm, bye. All right. Come on. Let's get to work. Brandon can now dive headlong into training Nikki. And we heal. They've got a lot of time to make up for. But Nikki proves to be an adept student. OK, good, good. Brandon works with her over the next several days, by the end of which the Wheaton Terrier mix has mastered the seven common commands. Now it's time for the next step. Specifically, a step through a dog door, like the one at Nikki's potential new home. The worst thing you can do when teaching a dog a dog door is try to call them through it with a flap all the way down. They look at that flap all the way down as a wall, and it could be intimidating. The best way to teach them to go through it is lift that flap all the way up. Nikki, come here. When she gets all the way through it, naturally, I reward her. I do that a few more times, and from there, I lower the flap halfway down. Nikki, come here. There's still a big gap in the bottom she can easily get through. And she runs through when I call her, and once again, she gets rewarded. From there, I keep closing the flap more and more each time. Nikki, come here. All I'm doing here throughout the process is building her confidence, teaching her that this flap is not only movable, but it's not intimidating. Nikki, come here. Oh, nice. The more she pushes the flap with her head, the easier it becomes, until eventually, I don't have to lift that corner flap at all. Nikki, come on. Come here. Good, nice. I simply call her through over and over, and she's pushing the flap as she should. Come on. Very good boy. Excellent work. Hup, hup. Very good boy.